Well, uh, of course, America, one of the biggest polluters. Let's hear what reactions coming from that side of the pond tonight. Uh, Artis Priya Sridhar is in our Washington, D.C. studio. Priya, hi there. Uh, as I said, yes, I, I guess America's yep. got a lot to prove in Copenhagen with his track record on emissions, isn't it? That's right, Kevin. Well, there are still a lot of questions about global warming, and the climate gate scandal definitely added fuel to that fire. So, what's going to happen in Copenhagen? Is anything actually going to get accomplished? Well, joining me to help talk about just that is radio host Alex Jones. Alex, thanks so much for joining me. Thanks for having me. So, first of all, I want to ask you you know, all these officials are coming out to Copenhagen, and you know, they're preaching all about environmentalism and things like that. But it also seems like they're coming in on their big, fancy private jets and their stretch limos. I mean, what is the point of Copenhagen? Do you think anything's actually going to get accomplished, or is this all just a big publicity stunt? That's right. Uh, hookers from all over the planet are traveling there. Caviar, hundreds and hundreds of limos, uh, hundreds of private jets coming in as the world elite uh, meets to establish their own private global corporate government where carbon taxes on carbon dioxide that plants breathe, that plants live off of, uh, will be taxed among other things. And yes, something is going to happen at Copenhagen. The Environmental Protection Agency has announced today in the New York Times they are going to list carbon dioxide, part of the life cycle on this planet, uh, as a toxic waste and start taxing it. Other nations in Europe and around the world are already doing it. Uh, billions and billions of dollars of carbon credits are already being sold on the mercantile uh, stock exchanges. Uh, of the world, uh, and and though the the hoax of man-made climate change, it was warming. Now they've changed it to climate change because the Earth's getting cooler again, part of a natural uh, cycle based mainly on the sun. Uh, sure, they're embarrassed. Their fraud is in trouble, but they don't care. They're going to continue this because. Uh, Von Rompuy and others, the head of the EU, have said in speeches they're going to base their whole world government taxation and regulation system on this. And so I believe Obama is going to sign on to it. Uh, I believe that uh, they're going to agree to sign on to future agreements. And even if the U.S. Senate won't ratify it, they are still just going to have the bureaucracy uh, implement it. Arnold Schwarzenegger in California couldn't get the legislature to tax televisions and ban TVs above 40 inches, so he just used the bureaucracy, the energy department, in the seventh largest economy in the world, California, uh, as he calls it, uh, to go ahead and start that taxation. And, and so this is already the, happening. The, do you think that the officials are going to address the climate gate scandal in Copenhagen? Yes, the United Nations uh, director. Uh, of the conference, the climate change conference from the December 7th to December 18th, uh, is in the Associated Press with the headline, UN climate chief hacked emails are damaging. And governments like Saudi Arabia are calling for investigations. Uh, members of the British government are calling for investigations. Senator Inhofe is calling for an investigation, but he's being blocked uh, by uh, Senator Barbara Boxer and others. And uh, so, yes, it is already hurting them. It's already exposing their fraud and uh, their hoax is collapsing, uh, but they don't care if the emperor's been caught with no clothes. They are just going to continue on with their fraud. But uh, over the years, we're going to be able to defeat them because these climate gate emails being released proves that they know the earth's getting co co cooler, proves that they know it's not man-made and part of the natural cycle. So this is the beginning of the end. But I expect for them to put a good face on it, act like everything is okay, and go ahead and get most of the 191 countries in attendance uh, to go ahead with it. Well, Mr. Jones, thank you so much for your view as always. Unfortunately, that's all the time we have for right now. But I'll be back here in another hour with another live update. But for now, Kevin, it's back to you. Yeah, Priya, thanks for that. And of course, much more coverage on uh, what's going on in Copenhagen over the coming days and the coming weeks. Thanks very much.